In this video, we're going to look at executes on the Stadium Series consoles. On the MQ500M console, you've got a 4x3 grid of keys sitting between your playbacks and programming sections. On the MQ250M console, this is replicated on the small screen on the right hand side here. The small screen also provides legending for your encoders, so that all of your playbacks and encoders are directly legended on a screen. The 4x3 section can either be executes, macros, playbacks, and many other different functions. On the MQ500M console, you've got a next and previous page and function keys directly above those 4x3 keys on the console. On the MQ250M console, you simply hold the Alt key down to change the function. And you can see when I hold the Alt key down, my choice of function is either executes, mapped to my execute window, a 4x3 execute grid, where you can store queues, palettes, macros, or special functions like you've seen with us doing the fader modes on. You can then quickly recall whatever your execute is via the window here. You can also hold Alt down and you can have it doing macros, mapped to our macro window. Another option is playbacks. You can give yourself another 12 playbacks accessible and when you hold the Alt key down you've got page up and down buttons to step through your playbacks. You can also have it doing groups and palettes. So you've got the option there of groups, positions, colors or beams. When you select it again you can page up and down through your various palettes as well. You can also have it doing effects and layouts as well. Layouts being window layouts. On the Stadium Series console you have quick access to 12 layouts down the side of the screen but if you want even more you can have these doing layouts as well. Again page up so you can have the first 12 layouts on this side and another 12 layouts on your small screen here. So that's executes on our Stadium Series consoles.